Hi folks, I've got a couple of important things I want to share with you today when it comes to healing a leaky gut. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer and today we're talking about inflammation in a leaky gut. We're going to be talking about some of the overlooked factors outside of a diet that causes a leaky gut. And finally, I'm going to talk to you about the four categories of medications that have either caused your leaky gut or right now are affecting your leaky gut from truly healing. Three very important things to always remember about your gut. Number one, 80 to 90% of your immune system lies in the gut. So any problem related to the immune system should focus on restoring gut health. Number two, the gut has a barrier. And when this barrier is eroded, when it's broken down, we have lots of inflammation. And we have proteins from the foods we eat seeping into our bloodstream, antagonizing our immune system. Number three, you're gonna see some health coaches uh, talk about healing a leaky gut in 30 days. Folks, this doesn't happen. While your gut may feel better in 30 days of cleaning up your diet, you can't clean up 20, 30 years of insult in 30 days with a 30-day food challenge, okay? So while you may start feeling better, realize that the minute you introduce these foods back into your, into your life, you're gonna feel like garbage all over again, okay? Just can't happen. So don't waste your money with anyone who claims that they're gonna heal your, 30, your, heal your leaky gut in 30 days, okay? Don't waste your money. Now, while diet plays a role in leaky gut, and you're gonna see so many people on the internet, they talk about diet, 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 diet. I want you to realize that there are many other factors that get overlooked, okay? Blood sugar imbalances, well, that is definitely one that's affected by diet. But chronic stress, okay, meaning cortisol levels. Inflammation, meaning inflammation could be coming from infections in the gut. Uh, parasites that, again, could be causing inflammation. Hormonal imbalances heavy metal toxicities, environmental toxins, okay? All of these things, if you don't address these, you're not gonna give your body the fair chance at healing that gut, okay? The latest research as it relates to chronic health problems, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, published in the National Institute of Health, PubMed, all of these are pretty clear in showing the connection between a leaky gut and chronic disease. Now, when I say chronic disease, I'm talking about things like thyroid problems, I'm talking about depression, I'm talking about uh, autoimmune disorders, I'm talking about fibromyalgia, I'm talking about heart problems and cancer, I'm talking about skin conditions, I'm talking about chronic pain, I'm talking about neuropathy. Basically any disease that doesn't kill you today, but basically makes you miserable over a lifetime, okay? That's a chronic health problem. These are all tied into a leaky gut somehow or some way. And if you were to ask your doctor, if he or she thinks you have a leaky gut, they may look at you cross-eyed, okay? Don't be surprised. Some will even think you're crazy. So when you're done watching this video, go to Google, simply type in leaky gut, and type in whatever condition first pops into your mind, okay? So for example, you may wanna type in leaky gut and acne. You may wanna type in leaky gut and thyroid disease. You may wanna type in leaky gut and chronic fatigue. You might want to type in leaky gut and fibromyalgia, leaky gut and Tylenol. Whatever you type in, type in leaky gut, the condition, and at the very end, type in NIH, National Institute of Health, NEJM for the New England Journal of Medicine, and there you'll be able to see the research, the, research, the scholarly articles, and you can go through them. Print those up, bring them into your doctor. Why do I tell you this? Well, here's why. If your doctor doesn't know about this, okay, it's very likely that the medications that he or she has you on will continue to perpetuate your sickness and obviously hinder your body's ability to heal itself. Perhaps if your doctor is aware of this, he or she may change the medication that he has you on. It's worth a shot, okay? So if you don't look at the big picture, if you don't start addressing all of the causes behind a leaky gut, if you think that you're just gonna change your diet, your leaky gut's gonna go away, it doesn't happen. You're, you have a chronic health problem and it's only gonna continue to get and cause more problems and more sickness and more disease down the road until you attack this head on. Medications do such a great job of treating those symptoms and hiding them that we often forget that we have a problem in the first place. So it's important that we don't lose focus on what the main objective of health is, and that's to restore function back to the body so the body can heal itself again, okay? If you have a leaky gut, it's great that you feel better in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you need to get retested. I don't typically retest people, uh, you know, if they come back positive for usually six to 12 months. So in addition to following a leaky gut diet, 
and correcting those other causes behind a leaky gut that we mentioned. Be aware of medications that could also be making your leaky gut worse and that's important. So let's get into some of these, okay? Now this goes a long way. Let me say this. This goes a long way to managing inflammatory and autoimmune conditions. Things like Hashimoto's disease, things like lupus, things like Sjogren's disease, and many, many other chronic health problems. All right, so what medications can cause leaky gut or prevent a leaky gut from healing, okay? The first one is corticosteroids, okay? These are, these are very important. These can be found in medications that asthmatics take, people that are living in chronic pain, people with inflammatory bowel disorders like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, people who have skin conditions like dermatitis or psoriasis, people who have chronic headaches, or at any time there is unchecked inflammation, okay? Very often people go on corticosteroid treatment, okay? Steroid drugs such as prednisone, they suppress your immune system. They dampen down inflammation. And while these can be life-saving and without a doubt necessary, it doesn't change the fact that they can contribute to a leaky gut, okay? So many people take these medications for a long time, and the longer you take these, the longer they will disrupt your adrenal glands and adrenal function, okay? These medications can raise your cortisol levels, and high doses will break down the gut lining, okay? Or at the very least, it'll impair the way that gut lining repairs and replaces itself, okay? This is exactly how chronic stress and anxiety contributes to a leaky gut as well. And we just did a video on the connection of many different causes behind anxiety, okay? But one of them is gut related, okay? So again, it raises cortisol levels. If this is the case and you've been on prednisone for any period of time, what I suggest and what I do with my patients is I check them for what's called a quantitative serum IgA level. This is very important, okay? Have your DHEA levels checked, have your cortisol levels tested, okay? Now if these are suppressed, then your immune system is also being shut down. The second medication is called a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. These are gonna be things like ibuprofen and aspirin. These have been shown to increase intestinal permeability, AKA leaky gut, within a period of time as little as 24 hours. And you can imagine the people that are on these for long term. Kind of makes you wonder about the people that take an aspirin a day or people that have chronic headaches and they, and they pop an aspirin. Uh, or they pop ibuprofen, or women perhaps they have uh, menstrual cramps and they take these pain medications, okay? So again, something worth considering. So it's no surprise that when you've taken enough of these because of chronic headaches or chronic joint pain or muscle pain, you get stomach pain, you get GI bleeds. So hopefully you can start seeing some of the connections that I'm trying to point out here. Beneficial gut flora, this is another major contributor uh, which can lead to a leaky gut. If your microbial balance is off because you've been on, let's say, a lot of antibiotics over the course of your lifetime. Maybe you were a child who had lots of ear infections, or you had lots of urinary tract infections, or you had lots of respiratory tract infections. Maybe you had a doctor who just thought the solution to every ear infection was an antibiotic. Well, you can thank him for your leaky gut. Number four, chemotherapy drugs. Okay, chemotherapy drugs break down everything. And so that's, that's not a surprise here, but they also lead to a leaky gut. With all this being said, all of these drugs, without a doubt, they have their purpose and they should, you should never, okay, put yourself or a child in danger by avoiding a life-saving drug in order to prevent a leaky gut, okay? However, if they are necessary, you're gonna to wanna to consider following their use with a leaky gut protocol to restore that intestinal lining and prevent further deterioration of your health. So there you got it, four medications that cause leaky gut I hope these, uh, if you're taking any of these medications, you follow up with someone, uh, either call our office, visit our website. There's a lot of information on my website. I have over 900 different pages of, of health information as it relates to chronic health problems. But if you think you have a leaky gut, it's important, again, I'm gonna say this, I say it all the time, work with a doctor who's going to look at the whole picture. Lots of people out there selling leaky gut programs, selling lots of vitamins and probiotics. Work with someone who, who's obviously gonna properly test you. Look at all the moving parts as to, to why you have a leaky gut. And then most importantly, retest you at some period of time to know that they've really corrected the problem. So again, like I said earlier, many leaky gut um, problems can take six months, 12 months, some even take 30 months to heal because of the different players that are, that are at the root cause. So again, not a quick fix. No 30 day program is gonna do this. So again, hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, check out my website. There's over 900 pages. There's more videos there dedicated to helping people get their lives back, doing it natural, okay? Till next time, take care. And remember, keep digging and pulling back those layers. Take care.